City of Yonkers. I'm joined by our mayor, the Honorable Mike Spano, the Westchester County District Attorney, the Honorable Anthony J. Scarpino, the Dr. Police Department First Deputy Chief Tim Hodges, Deputy Chief John Muller, Joe Monaco, Detective Captain Dan Campanini, Detective Lieutenant Justin Barbado and Andy Chiroa, and Detective Sergeant William Cade and Bob Devitt, and Paul Nodal, the First Deputy District Attorney, Assistant District Attorney William Schaefer of the Investigation Division Chief, and our ADA Youngest Bureau Chief, Doreen Lloyd. Today, we are announcing a series of arrests targeting known members of the Bloodstone Gang. These arrests are the result of an intensive joint investigation dubbed Operation Bloodstone. Over the past four months, detectives assigned to our gang unit, working in collaboration with our partners in the District Attorney's Office, reviewed numerous incidents that were found to be connected to this group of individuals. After conducting multiple interviews, debriefings, viewing of video, physical surveillance, and the execution of search warrants, we were able to develop incriminating information targeting this group. The information was presented to a grand jury resulting in the indictment of these 12 individuals on charges including attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, assault, and various weapons charges. Early yesterday morning, Yonkers detectives along with members of the District Attorney's Office, County Probation Department, Westchester County Police Department, and members of the New York State Parole began executing the arrests, and at this time, nine of the 12 defendants have been apprehended. Three remain at large. An arrest warrant has been issued for Raheem Sheely. Sheely should be considered armed and dangerous, and I encourage him to turn himself in to the Yonkers Police. If any member of the public has information of his whereabouts, please contact us at our detective division at 914-377-7725. We're also actively pursuing the remaining two suspects and anticipate their indictments to be unsealed shortly. These arrests demonstrate the power of collaborating with our law enforcement partners and our shared commitment to public safety by working together to remove dangerous individuals from our community. I believe these arrests have effective, effectively dismantled this group from Rhode Hill and will have a positive impact on public safety and the quality of life for our residents here in the city of Yonkers. And I'd like to send a warning to those who choose to engage in violent activity here in our city. There are additional investigations that are ongoing as we speak, and we're going to fine you, remove you from our streets, and hold you fully accountable for your actions. This was a very difficult and complicated investigation, and I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the exceptional efforts of our gang unit under the command of Captain Campanini and Lieutenant Barbado and Sergeant uh, Cave, the members of our 3rd and 4th Precinct Anti-Crime Units, our Emergency Service Unit, District Attorney's Office, Washington County Department of Public Safety, uh, for their value, invaluable assistance in this case. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Mayor of the City of Yonkers, the Honorable Mike Spano. Let me just start off by saying thank you to our Police Department, certainly uh, my commissioner, Charles Gardner, a wonderful district attorney uh, who was able to forge this relationship and allow for this investigation to go on. Uh, I'm not going to say much about the investigation because that's not my job, that's law enforcement's job, but my job is also to help with the safety and the protection of the people of our great city. And I have to tell you, our police department working in collaboration with the county is second to none. That there is no doubt that uh, proven guilty, the quality of life will be significantly enhanced for the people that live in our community with these individuals off the street. Certainly don't need them causing a ruckus in, city, in our city this summer. They could do that elsewhere. So that the people uh, in our city uh, can enjoy their time this summer. So uh, for law enforcement, uh, all of you, we just do, you continue to do uh, great things as we serve and protect our people, our people of our great city. And again, thank you, Commissioner, to the press, uh, to our great district attorney uh, for, for doing just a great job in helping keep this community as safe as we possibly can. Thank you. 
this time I want to introduce the District Attorney of Westchester County, the Honorable Anthony J. Scarpino. Good afternoon, everyone. Mayor Spano, Commissioner Gardner. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation to be here today and participate in uh, this press conference. Of course, I'd like to commend the diligent work of the Yonkers Police Department and the assistance of the Westchester County Department of Public Safety and all our other partners for this collaboration which resulted in rounding up members of this violent gang and in doing so, making Yonkers and our surrounding Westchester communities safer. Gang violence is a serious concern for law enforcement. In the District Attorney's Office, our newly formed Gang, Firearms, and Narcotics Bureau uh, has uh, worked very hard to, uh, to make cases of this nature. Uh, th this results that we have here today is an indication of the success that we are having with this newly created group. In this group, we have prosecutors who work very closely with the Yonkers police detectives to build a strong conspiracy indictment against members of this gang. These arrests of members of the Bloodstones gang is a major step forward towards eradicating this gang in particular and the violence and fear they inflict on our society. This conspiracy by the Bloodstone Gang created a climate of control in their section of Yonkers through violence, including shootings and assaults. The Bloodstone's gang focus was an attempt to kill rival gang members, to intimidate and threaten others, enforce discipline in their ranks, and recruit and, uh, and, and initiate new members. Their very acts have made our streets unsafe for anyone living in that community and beyond. And we here in Westchester, the Yonkers, the city of Yonkers, the mayor, the police commissioner, and all of law enforcement will not tolerate that. Thank you. Thank you, Runner. And now we'll open it up for any questions that you may have. I just want to uh, remind everybody that there are aspects of this investigation that are continuing, that are ongoing. So we may not be able to describe certain aspects in detail, but we'll try to answer your questions to the best of our ability. Commissioner, you're saying that Raheem Sheely, a.k.a. Flea, is still at large. How dangerous is this guy? All of, um, well, 10 of the 12 individuals have been uh, charged with conspiracy to commit murder. So we consider this group to be dangerous, armed and dangerous, and we consider Raheem Sheely to be armed and dangerous. There is a warrant for his arrest. Um, I'm encouraging him to turn himself in. But if anyone has information regarding his whereabouts, please contact us at 377-7725. That's the Yonkers Detective Division. This investigation was four months? The investigation was approximately four months in duration, yes. And the sweep happened this morning? Yesterday morning, uh, we began making the arrests and on the indictments. In the Nodine Hill section of Yonkers? Um, the, the group was centered in the Nodine Hill, Nodine Hill section of Yonkers, but the arrests were made at other locations as well. Were you able to tell us where some of the arrests were made? I don't have the specific addresses, but um, as, as you can see, nine of the 12 are, are, have been apprehended and are in custody at this time. Can you tell us who is the, the gang leader of the, who considered the gang leader? Well, we, we consider this to be a, local, a group of local individuals who have identified themselves as the Bloodstone Gang. Um, there is one of the individuals is, is 39 years old, James Bryant. We believe him to be um, one of the controlling members of this group. How long have they been around? You usually hear about the Bloods, the Crips, not the Bloodstone. So how long are they new? Or? It's, it's, I, I would say approximately last year. About, about, two, about two years. About, about two years. Um, we, our gang unit began noticing that there were certain incidents that were involving the same individuals in different locations. They put it together and started to target this group and identify them as the Bloodstone group, and, and, and once we identify them as a gang engaging in violent activity, we work together with the district attorney's office to target them and put these cases together that were presented to the grand jury. How did you link them together? Uh, text, Facebook, uh, I mean, how do you know they were working 
uh, the, through the briefings, uh, interviews, um, gathering intel, video recordings, um, interviewing of witnesses, you know, a multitude of investigational techniques were utilized, reviewing reports, descriptions, and we were able to, to formulate uh, a, a group that was engaging in, in activity associated with each other. And can you provide any details on the, any of the charges, particularly the attempt murder, Andy? Um, I can tell you that on more than one occasion, the individuals charged with conspiracy uh, attempted to murder uh, shoot another individual. We, we can't, I can't get into specifics of the charges at this time. There are aspects that are still ongoing as, as we're developing more information. Now, was there another individual, another gang member, or the rival figure? In one of the incidents, we believe it was another gang member, yes. A different, a different group. Could you tell us a little bit about their crimes? Like, are they, do they know for drive-bys, just shootings, stabbings? Where are they? Uh, we, 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 some of the arrests include prior narcotics activity, sale of drugs. Um, some of the disputes occur over some minor minor disputes, you know, in, range, in ranges, um, drugs, violence, and some of the violent acts may be out of a, out of a simple dispute. You say drugs, but where do they make their income? Where is the money like? Uh, well, they're involved in the sale of narcotics in, in, in the west, mainly on the west side of the city, predominantly in the North Island area. Do we think that's all of them? Uh, this, we believe this is the most violent core group of this, this individual. I don't know, I'm not aware of any other individuals, but we believe that we've effectively dismantled this group at this time. What would your message be, I guess, to Yonkers residents when you've got these you know, like 10 of 12, but you said the investigation is continuing. You know, are there more out there? Um, as I said, you know, if you're going to engage in violent activity here in Yonkers, uh, you should be on notice that we have these investigations ongoing. We have another investigation actively ongoing as we speak if you're going to engage in violent activity, we're going to come out and get you. We're going to prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law and hold you accountable for your actions. We're not going to tolerate this type of activity here in our city. One last question, Commissioner. During the sweep, was any narcotics or weapons recovered as well? Uh, there was narcotics recovered and a weapon recovered prior to the sweep. During the investigation, the weapons were recovered and narcotics were recovered. All right, thank, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you very thank much. You.